the most innovative investment bank for bonds. And the winner is Deutsche Bank. Hello and welcome to the Bankers Investment Banking Awards. My name is Stephanie Linhardt and I'm here with Hakan Volin from Deutsche Bank. Hakan, um, you won the Bond Awards this year. Um, what would you say were the main drivers of your success? Um, well, first of all, thank you for, for giving it to us because it means a lot and particularly for all the junior people around the bank that work so hard. Uh, in making making uh, everyday pitches and, and all that, <laughs> so so it means a lot to us. So thank you. I think the drivers is that you need to have a multi-pillar um, business to stand on, because at some point one business may be down, another one up. This year we've been very very active around financial institutions and capital issuance, a huge wave of capital issuance from. Uh, I think now 35 different countries, 300 billion in Basel III compliant deals. That's great. On the other hand, a huge wave of LBOs and high yield issues, particularly in Europe, fast growing. And we have a very good credit business, 7 out of 10 LBOs being done. The big corporates, uh, be it M&A related or otherwise, we've been very much involved in. We've done 7 out of the 10 largest top 10 deals this year. Very happy with that. And of course, the last pillar, in my view, is the fast growing emerging markets. Um, you know, 110 different countries issuing debt. You need to be present and we've been involved in 75 countries. This is impressive. You have to have a big architecture out there to be involved with investors and issuers and that, that you don't build that up over a year or two. This is a long time coming and if you have that infrastructure you're bound to do well in this kind of market. What would you say which deals did you especially like? Obviously you cover the whole globe so which deals did you especially like? Well uh, there's many of them on the corporate side um, on the high yield side we as a bank very proud of the numeric couple the largest high yield deal ever issued out of uh, the French uh, telecom sector uh, we did a repeat large issue for Apple we like that client um, and their products um, uh, 12 billion this year uh, that was very exciting um, we did one 7 billion deal yesterday for Bayer our German household these kind of deals are very important for us on the capital side other than issuing for ourselves, uh, we were especially, um, and we talked about it before, Société Générale, some of the groundbreaking first AT1s with uh, write down and write up provisions, etc., that set the stage for further issues. Very proud of that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then, of course, we can, pick, uh, we can pick interesting transactions out of uh, pretty much anywhere. But I think also another one is African sovereigns, which is coming. Mm -hmm. And that's delightful to see because they're raising money and lifting people out of uh, uh, less fortunate economic circumstances into better ones. And that's fun as a banker to be involved. Do you expect more issuance out of Africa in the next 12 months? There's 53 countries last time I counted, and maybe <laughs> 54, depending on how you define it. So far, we have ratings of 30 issuance out of 15 or so. So yes, much more to come. Thank Africa you. is rising. This is the moment, and we want to be right there. Brilliant. Thank you very much.